you have to check this out so how do we see the uh, uh, awk command example so let me show you so here see here so here this is one command mm, this is just for printing now this is the variable you advanced use cases okay just a second i want to show you something with the combinations so find and awk combined okay, combined let me see if i have something uh, Okay, no problem. So let's use this. Not able to quickly find, but on one instance, I want to share with you. Awk is very advanced commands to process lots of things. So what is this? Awk print, but what? So dollar two. This is the build variable from which file? This file. But the question is, what is a dollar two? And what is this curly braces? So curly braces creating a group actually. So if you see that here, look at this here. Uh, understand this file. This is a file separated by. Let me screenshot. This is the pattern of the file. See that, and in this pattern, there is one separation by one space. Correct now. Correct now. All of you. Hello. Yes. Okay. So here, by default, they detect that file and set this column dollar one like this, dollar one, dollar two, dollar three. So what you are saying, hey, I have a file in this structured file. Just print the dollar two. This is a simple step way. Okay. So let me see if I can copy this file now. So I have to create it one file. Let me show you. So vi uh, ra, raja dot txt and rrr rrr four 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 five 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 six 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 and run this. Let me show you the first content raja and here file name. copy paste don't do the blindly okay because from the site if you copy many characters will change so see so see so this is faster actually you are not able to visualize the use cases but you have millions of file millions of lines in the file this awk will do save lots of time actually okay so this way you can do the conditional search and replace so i want you to prepare for this interview questions grep versus said versus find versus uh awk versus uh, one more command I'm missing. Grep is done. Set is done. Find is done. Edge. Huh, edge. So this commands is an interview preparation questions. At least one question definitely will be there from this category. And this all commands is used for the finding the files based on the name of the file, properties of the file, or replacing the some content or uh, regular expressions and all stuff like that. Make sense? All of you? Yeah. I will create a cheat sheet for it after some time and you'll get good. Okay, so here, what I wanted to try you to get you comfortable with Linux. Uh, if you want to immediately get started with it, this is the best command. You have all the examples and all. 
and I have one admin commands also, so I want to share with you, so you can get practice for that. Mm, Linux for admin Admin command, anyways, I have uh, put it in the notes many times, so you will you will practice it. It's spelling mistake. So this is the one. I'm trying to uh, create a very rich documentation slowly, slowly. But again, takes consume lots of time. One one tutorial will take at least half day. So this command, these all commands is admin commands. By the way, let me tell you, whatever the command I'm giving it to you, only please practice those only. Whatever in this session I'm named it, only practice those only because there are more than 1500 commands. So don't get lost in that. So this is the command all practice. This is all command practice. And whatever the commands here I wrote, all this practice, that's all is needed actually. And if you practice in the next 10, 15 days also, that's okay. Okay. Any questions on the Linux command front, all of you? Questions on the commands. Uh... Hi Raj, and no questions on the command, but will these recordings will be published on the LMS? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, all the recordings will be available in the published. I mean, LMS. I'm slightly confused how to access LMS because I try to access on the DevOps uh, course, but it I'll, says well, I'll show you the end of the day. That okay, the thanks Raj. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so guys, one thing I want to teach you that is called return value. So this is not something Linux also, but I want to remind you because you need this uh, information for the troubleshooting. So here I'll run ls, and what is the return value? Echo dollar zero. I run lss, and what is the return value? One twenty-seven. So, what I'm trying to say here is, you need to understand the return value 0, 1, or others. So, 0 means what? If any command or script, I'll teach you script, that's the next session. Any commands, if it's success, you will have a 0. If any commands, which you have a non-success, not a success, which may have a, some errors, you have a one or others. Will you remember this, all of you? And how do we get to know? Dollar, this one. Will you remember? Now you will think, where can I use it? So you can use in the scripting logic. If the command is successful, do this. If command is success, not successful, do this. Make sense? All of you? There's a difference between one and others. What there's a if, if command is success, but some of the return value is coming, uh, which can be failure, error, then one. Mm -hmm. But others mm -hmm. means uh, other than zero and one, which is others, no success. This means this command is not found. So they say the return value is this one. But when you run okay. some script and all, then you will have a failure, error. Error will mm -hmm. display one. Two okay, and one. other than zero and one, any other yeah. return code is yeah. yeah. Okay, so these are small, small thing. Now one more thing I want to teach you. One more thing, and that is called pipe. I mean, pipe and plus redirection. So, here let's say ls, this is output ls and 11.txt. See here, 11.txt. So, whatever the output I got it, I stored in this redirection and here. And if I see here you see double pipe 
डबल रीडायरेक्शन ठीक है अपेंडिंग ठीक है इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अपेंड वॉट यू हैव टू डू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिप्लेस वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू वॉन्ट टू रिप्लेस लेट सी दैट रिप्लेस सी दैट understanding what i'm saying small small things but save lots of your time for doing automations and so on. are you understanding hello yes sir okay so this is the one now there is a pipe pipe means what so you can merge multiple commands together using pipe so for example ls this is the one command on top of that pipe i want to find find though you can do that on the find command also but on the results on this i want to find what you want to find or you want to grep one you want to grep want to grep aa see you want to grep raja see so that means output of this run this command how do you do that using pipe you can use multiple pipe also so you got a yes sir you got a raja right and raja uh, uh, let's make it raj r a g r a g ha two file will be done see here and you want to more grep so raju see here so these are the small tactics for the pipe that means output of this run this output of this run this command i hope you are understanding it correct hello yes sir hmm. so always remember for yes. example i'll tell you some of the use cases this is the ps command this is the ps hyphen ef all the process is running i want to know the process which is running with uh, what is this this is all a system process by the way pick up so what what to do this i see i get crazy i want to just grab it grab pick up see only this pid you get it so like that are you understanding all of you yes yeah so guys overall linux is a operating system which you can use only with the commands and commands you can't remember everything practice required so what i'm insisting you no matter how many commands you'll practice it you'll forget after one week so better do only one thing migrate all of your requirement to linux that means whatever you do from today do it in linux you will have a frustration you will not find it easy but after just 10 days you will start loving it and you will never touch windows after that you will touch windows only for watching movies or browsing the browser that's all i am doing the same thing i'm using windows only for browser not for anything else though you can do the browsing in the linux also for, but for that you have to install the desktop version that is not i don't want you to get into that because no one is using that most of the 99% of your work will be there in the server edition uh, server version of your devops work makes sense all of you okay so now after this sessions we'll have a one session for shell scripting or you can call it a batch scripting okay so i'll teach you what is shell scripting and what is a batch scripting uh, after this thanks for watching want to study further join our training programs today